Mallory Lindsay is joining us right now. We love her. You are the uh, concern conservationist. Is that is that your title? The curious conservationist. There we go. Concern, curious, whatever. Uh, Sometimes I'm concerned. Yeah. She's always bringing on these these items, these uh, insects, these bugs, these whatevers that uh, get a bad rap. Yeah, they're like the redheaded stepchildren right. of the nature world. But you embrace these things. Love them. And you teach us why they are so important to us. And so today, what are we busting myths? about today is probably the most feared and misrepresented creature <laughs> and it's my favorite i know i said it was two weeks ago the worms were my favorite but oh good gracious <laughs> they're just they're trying to get out yeah go ahead okay. you can okay you can. well first of all when mallory's wearing when she is wearing her gloves that means we're in business because usually you touch everything. Yes, so they're right. very hungry. Oh. Um, they, they're leeches. These they're leeches. are blood suckers, but not all leeches do suck blood. Okay. But the reason why I brought these ones on, these are very special. These are, these are special medical leeches. devices. They are FDA approved medical devices. Okay, uh, first of all, let's talk about uh, how do they suck blood? I mean, what are they doing? Sure, get so it? this big little suction you see on the back. Oh, you the might back see side? It. Yeah, the back side, that's the anchoring sucker. Sucker. Okay. And then you have the jaws that are in front, and those are the ones that do the business. Okay, if that's we the turn them upside thing. down, are we going to be, oh, we, we can't really see it. So that's why we call them blood suckers, because they, they, what, la leech on? They latch on, <laughs> and they just suck the blood out, right? Oh, my well, what goodness. What many people don't know is because of that mechanism, because they're able to suck blood, they They've been in med human medical history since the beginning of the history of medicine. Yeah, I am really kind of surprised to hear that. It's because I remember hearing rumors that models would use leeches to get rid of bruises. Really? Yeah, but I, I you know, I one, figured that was urban legend. That would legend. be cool if it Sh was. Should we, like, count how many we have here in case any of them get out? <laughs> They're all over <laughs> no, the place. Okay, so you said these are medical leeches. Tell me how leeches are used in the medical world. So they're used in research. Um, they have what we call, the, some people say, 32 brains. So they're used to study human brains as well, the neurological um, pathways. But more importantly, they are able to do things in surgery and in therapy that human doctors have not been able to do. Like what? For instance, so I'm going to, it's better if I draw. Okay. <laughs> Forgive my, so say you are cutting some vegetables. All right. And your finger... You're not very careful, right? You get right. locked off. Well, what happens is all the blood vessels get cut, too. So that tissue starts dying. Well, what a leech does is when you put the leech on top, it will be able to suck all that blood back into those tissues to save the tip That's of the finger. That's extraordinary. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so they, they put the leech on and they allow it basically to rejuvenate itself? Is that? Yeah. So it, um, it breaks up all the congested blood because, you know, blood clots. Right. And so it cleans that up. And then it also repairs all the blood vessels that are in the wow. crushed, damaged tissue. How on earth did Ooh. they discover something like this? It's been since, oh, for, you know, a couple thousand years, they've been using leeches Wow. To, you know, before, Ooh. during bubonic plague, they thought that the leech could take the bad blood out and leave the good blood in, but that's not possible. <laughs> okay, so... They're a little bit more active than the worms a couple of weeks ago, huh? Right. When, I know. They're, they're trying to make a break for it because I see them uh, swimming around as well. What are some of the other misconceptions? I mean, obviously, the thing that comes to mind when you talk about a leech is the stand-by-me scene. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, that's a perfect segue into how do you remove a leech if you have one properly? Perfect. Many people think that you should light it on fire. Oh, yeah, I've heard that one. Right? Or uh -huh. you should grab it and pull it off. However, leeches will hold their meals for a couple of weeks in their stomach. So when a leech latches onto you, more than likely he has blood from his last meal as well. So he'll just stay put. So he's gonna. what he's going to do is if you upset him, he's going to throw up that food that's maybe from a rat or something else that he had previously. You're okay. They're not going to fall off. Oh, I don't you're want so, you're so to sweet. commit leech suicide on, <laughs> on our TV. Okay, so, so they'll throw up their food. Yeah, so you don't want to um, aggravate them because they are going to throw up their food before they release off your skin. So what do you do? You are going to... Let me get a business card. So, okay. so you have a leech on you. Okay. He's, he's latched Let's on. Let's pretend I don't have a glove You on. are going to... Oh, oh, he was a little too easy. <laughs> You just touched it. That's what? okay. He's not going to bite me. Oh. So you're going to want to take a card and basically go underneath those jaws and pop them off. Because if you grab him and squeeze him, he's right. going to want to regurgitate that. And back again, into the you. jaws are on the opposite end of the sucker. All right. You always have such great information. Where can we find out more about Miss Mallory and your adventures? <laughs> so you can visit me on Instagram, Miss Mallory Adventures, or you can find me on my website at MissMalloryAdventures.com. This is kind of better than a slinky.
I gotta be honest. <laughs> this, whoa, whoa, hey. <laughs> he's trying he's trying to take a jump for it. But yes, they okay. are very important in the medical world. They get uh, not any kind of good rap. They always get the bad stuff when really they are so, so important. Oh, yes, they are. They're lovely. They're lovely individuals. All right, there's more coming away on Good Morning San Diego. Look at this. Blood suckers. But for good reasons. For good reasons. <laughs> they're, they're called full blood suckers.